Hey guys, Christy here from Christy Velasquez Art, and um, today we're going to be doing or attempting to do a rainbow pour using the cloudy effect. So that is using the um, Deco Art Americana Decor Satin Enamels uh, mixed with just the Artist Law of White, and I'm going to hope to get that cloudy effect. So it is uh, Pride Month, so I thought it would be in honor of Pride Month. I thought it'd be fun to try a rainbow pour uh, with that cloudy effect. So I do have um, my white mixed up, and this is the Satin Enamels with the Artist Loft just flow acrylics that come in the big bottle. I mixed it 50% of the Artist Loft and 50% of the... Uh, Satin enamels, and then I thinned it with Floetrol and then just some water. Now, as you can see here, it's pretty thin. When I lift my stick up, the paint goes right back into itself. It doesn't mound. So we have a nice, um, pretty thin consistency, and that is going to be hopefully what gives us our cloud effect. And then for my colors, I have a rainbow of, of colors, no pun intended, um, that I've, I've had pre-mixed up for a while. So I want to try to use them up um, and see if this actually works. So this is a 12 by 16, just your um, kind of like what I call my practice canvases. So these are the, uh, I think they call them the value canvases. So out of the value pack. Um, so if this turns out cool, I want to do it on one of the gallery three, like kind of deep, deep uh, canvases because um, I do have an upcoming show. So I'm hoping this practice will turn out. So um, this, since this is a 12 by 16, typically you would need maybe eight ounces, but I'm going to be doing a tree ring and I always pour uh, more paint than's needed with a tree ring. So I'm probably going to do about maybe nine to 10 ounces. Um, and I'm going to be using this little, uh, this is just like a plastic measuring cup. I got it from the dollar store, but I like that it has this little spout. So I'm going to try to get a nice little tree ring, um, using the spout. So. Here are the colors that we're going to be using, and I'm kind of mixing uh, different shades of colors in together. So I've got Artist Loft Crimson, and then this is just a made, um, this has got several different colors mixed in with it. It's got some pink, some reds, and it's got some metallic in it. So I'm going to mix a little bit of this with the crimson in my cup. Then I've got Artist Loft Orange. All of these paints that are in uh, my condiment containers, like I said, I've had these mixed for a while, and these were just mixed with Floetrol and a little bit of water. Then I've got Artist Loft Deep Yellow, and then I've got two greens that I'm using. Um, I know this one is the Artist Loft Metallic Green, and then this one is um, it's another Artist Loft color, and I'm sorry, I do not know the name of it, but I'm going to mix those two together. And then I've just got the Artist Loft Blue. And when I say just Artist Loft Blue, Artist Loft Yellow, I mean Orange, those are the ones that come in the big container like this, um, the Artist Loft Flow Acrylic. But um, they also have the blue and all these. So the ones that aren't um, labeled are just from here, from that, that type of paint. And then I've got a couple purples. I've got the Artist Loft Light Violet. And then this, I do believe, is the Artist Loft Metallic Purple. Um, so I am throwing some metallics in there, so we'll see how that works. And for my tree ring, I, I tend to favor purples, greens, and blues for my paintings. So those are the colors I want to come out last. So when I stretch my canvas around, um, those are the colors that are going to be predominantly still there in the rings. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go backwards with my my rainbow so I'm going to start with I'm going to start with the white so this is just the um the deco arts and the artist loft white and I'm going to pour a little bit in the bottom and I'm going to layer every color I'm going to have this between every color but I'm going to start at the end of the rainbow so I'm going to start with purple um, and then end with red so that when I pour my train ring out the red and the oranges the colors that I'm not I don't favor that much. Those come out first, and the colors that I like the most uh, come out at the end. So
hair. And I will spread it out with the stick. I just want my, um, I just want my paint to flow, my tree rings to flow. So I'm just putting a little bit of this down to try to help the paint flow. It doesn't have to be perfect. Um, I just really want the paint to be able to flow easily. Okay. All right, and let's get to pouring. So I wish I had thought about which nozzle, because I really wanted to pour from that one, but I'm right-handed, so um, <laughs> didn't think that through. So I'm gonna try to do this anyways and see what I get. I'm gonna go slow. Okay. Ugh. Okay, so that is coming out really kind of fast. Not exactly the way I wanted it to come out. Okay, I don't really like this nozzle. This is not working out at all. So I'm just going to try to pour. Ugh, this is not working out at all. This is not the best nozzle. So I'm just going to have to go with it like this. Way too fast, but way too much paint. So I'm switching over to a voiceover for the remainder of the video at this point. Um, there was a lot of frustration uh, from myself in this video at this point. Um, I knew I had way, way too much paint on my canvas. And I was also a little disappointed in the way the paint came out of that um that measuring cup that I used. The little spout on the measuring cup was way smaller than I guess it needed to be. And the paint spilled out um, from both sides of from the uh, spout. So it was coming out the spout and it was coming out the side. So I wasn't getting that tree ring that I was going for, but I went ahead and just, just kind of went with it. Um, so now I'm just really trying to stretch the paint out as slowly as possible. Uh, I was, like I said, a little frustrated so I had to really take some deep breaths and and try to take my time with this so that um, I could try to keep the rings that I did have since I didn't get the initial tree ring look that I wanted and as I kept stretching this this painting out I started to like it more I definitely got the cloudy effect which you can see there in the middle and in the sides I did lose the end of the rainbow, the the red, the orange, and the yellow. Um, like I, I thought I would, and, and I wasn't too disappointed that I lost those colors because they're not my favorite. I, I don't tend to paint with those colors. A lot of the purple stayed and the blue. Um, but overall, I was actually pleased with how this turned out. Um, Definitely went from a disaster, a potential disaster, to something that's not too bad. So be sure to stay tuned because I show you some close-ups of it after it's set for a few minutes. So um, I'm just going to continue to stretch this out, and then we will go in for a close-up.
Okay, so here is the painting after it's been sitting for probably 30 to 45 minutes. A lot of that cloudy effect started uh, coming through the painting, and I really actually like how this turned out. Um, some of that red and the orange pop through in some cells along the edges, and it's really a kind of a soft unicorn uh, looking painting with the blues and the greens and the purples all kind of mixing together, and then you have your pops of pink and orange. So I really kind of like how this turned out. Um, I think I'm going to try it again using a different cup to pour the paint out and try to get more of those defined tree rings um, that I was going for with this painting. But overall, not too bad, and I definitely got the cloudy effect. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, be sure to hit that subscribe button and, and the bell if you want to see any future videos. Thanks.